Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostels inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Leave. Get the fuck out of here! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets than light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like being out here with no freaking backup. What the guy's on, huh? You think of that? Yeah. I'm there. Get some goddamn backup down here Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's now. power grid. All right. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Yeah. At least we know the guy's alone. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? Like the dark, it's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. <sighs> Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing, like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? 
show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and he'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You think you're badass? You and me, man, we're just getting started. Oh. Come out and show yourself, <laughs> fuckface. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Baby, don't look. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Who's paying the bills on this one? Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money's good. He's a punk. Graco should be running his operation and hiring him out, not the other way around. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramco, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for Is now? He... Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You wanna know, send me? It's Colbert. Andre Coben <coughs> runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. <coughs> He's crazy. <coughs> he drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? 
You don't understand. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. <laughs>